Hey there, this is a little bit different than my usual videos. Did you know that NVIDIA <laughs> has released a new version of DLSS? Um, they have version 4 out now for the year the 5000 uh, series GPUs. Well, that is compatible with any RTX card, I think. Um, at least it's compatible with mine. Uh, and it's one of the oldest cards there is. <laughs> it's a 2080. So, um... What I, I have figured out a way, uh, well, more likely I found a video and another video and then another video on how to do this. Uh, so I'm going to walk you through uh, what I did to get DLSS4 running. Uh, if you look down on the bottom left of the screen, I'll zoom in for you. Uh, this is the version of 4 uh, and it's using the latest uh, model and everything like that. Uh, Farming Simulator 25 is not uh, compatible with this yet, <laughs> but you can force it. Uh, and this is how. You need to download software from GitHub. Uh, this is called NVIDIA Profile Inspector. Don't download it anywhere except from GitHub and from this address right here. <laughs> Trust me. Um, okay, once you get it downloaded, you're gonna oh, you're gonna extract it and you're gonna open it. Windows is going to say, hey, stop this, and you're going to have to tell it to run anyway. I ran it fine. I hope there's not anything else in there. Your mileage may vary. Use the drone risk, etc. Anyway, you bring it in here. You open it up. And allow it to run with admin privileges. And then you want to go all the way down to section, uh, section 5, common stuff, right? Then you want to go down to enable DLS override. Right now, uh, it's off, but you want to turn it on. You only have two options, turn it on. Then you want to go down to your forced preset letter. Uh, these, um, uh, you can have different presets. Um, I think J and K are the latest ones, but I just use, always use latest. Um, so it seems to work fine. Now be sure to, once you get that, don't change anything else. You can if you want to, but I didn't. Um, apply your changes up here, and then be sure to close it. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't think it'll affect anything, but uh, I always make sure uh, to close that just in case. All right. So when you open back up Farming Simulator, you will have the newest version um, of DLSS 4, uh, and you can tell that by this this information right here. Uh, it's kind of kind of hard to read because I got a high resolution, but you should have version. Uh, the latest preset, which is K. Uh, it says version 3, but that's that's because it's technically hasn't been updated, you know what I mean. But if you got the latest driver, you should have 310-21. I think that's a two. Kind of, like I said, poor resolution. <laughs> um, because I've got such a big screen. I don't think there's a way to change that, unfortunately. Um, but if you notice, the old version looks even worse, and that's a one it's 3.130, maybe, <laughs> maybe, I don't know, uh, versus the other one, which is 310.2.1. I'm not sure. I really can't read that, uh, but um, just that's just the difference between them. So maybe I should scale down my my uh, my uh, graphics to make that readable. But let's just uh, let's just assume it works <laughs> because I can tell a big difference in the graphics because I am believe it or not double scaling this image right here uh, we are we are at 200 percent scale up uh, and i have switched it to performance mode and it looks amazing so <laughs> it's uh and it's not even not using all my uh gpu so i can crank up some more stuff <laughs> got to use the whole thing uh, anyway if you uh if you wanted to get those numbers on yours um I, there's a registry setting uh, you can uh, add this right here. You got to go to that key in registry, add that right there. Uh, data is at a D word and it is uh, decimal uh, 1024 or hexadecimal 400, you know, whatever. Um, and then you'll have, you can verify it for yourself on the bottom left. If you don't, eh, don't worry about it. Uh, you can just trust it. Trust me. <laughs> uh, but at some point, uh, giants may change it. Uh, oh, keep in mind that this change, that uh, NVIDIA profiler will change it for 
any game that supports DLSS. So if you've got one that's crashing on you or doesn't work after this, then that might be why. So be sure to remember that one. Um, anyway, I'll also put a link to the to the video that the, that I found um, and I'm just kind of sharing with you uh, in specifics for Farming Simulator 25. And it seems to work, so give it a try if you've got the right card. <laughs> All right, I'm out. Thanks for coming to my TED Talk. Ha <laughs> ha!